Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. So as many of you guys know, I like to spend time in my shop. You know, the last three years, two years, it's been in the barn. The barn didn't have as much room as this shipping container does. Ceilings were like right here. So during the winter, when I would heat the, the, the barn up, I would just use a uh, kerosene heater, that thing that right there that's running behind me. It, it does the job. Uh, I would have liked the wood stove in the barn, but there's a bunch of hay. It's a fire hazard. If that thing burns down, that's a lot of money. I don't think it would have been smart to have a wood stove in a barn where there's hay stored. That's, I mean, common sense says no, not a good idea. But now that I'm in the shipping container and it's a lot larger, that thing's just not heating this up enough right now. It's probably like 45, 50 outside, so it's kind of warm. So this kerosene heater is enough to warm this space up. But when it drops below 30, which it does quite often, especially at night, which I work night shift, so I'm out in the shop at night while my day's off. I need something that puts out a lot more heat. So I went on to uh, Craigslist and I also went on to Facebook Marketplace and I found this wood stove. It is a oak brand, oak. Oak like the tree, the oak tree, but the brand is oak, I guess. I don't know. It really, it looks like a homeowner built type wood stove. It's got quarter inch plate all around it. The legs are just angle ironed. The only thing that looks manufactured is this door. This looks like a piece of cast, cast steel. But everything else just looks like stuff that you cut out with a plasma cutter and make a uh, wood stove out of it. But I paid 250 bucks for it. I felt like that was a fair price. Uh, you know, I tried negotiating with the guy, but he was pretty set on the the 250. I tried to get him down to to uh, 200 dollars, which. I felt it would have been a reasonable price, so extra 50 bucks, whatever. I went over to his house to pick it up. It uh, weighs probably three, 400 pounds. It's so freaking heavy. And, uh, you know, he told me, he's like, oh, I have the tractor fired up for you when you get here, and we'll just load it up onto the truck for you. And I get there, and I, I hear him in the backfield with the tractor going, wah, 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 what are you making the noises for? What is that noise? I don't get it. I don't get it. What is the noise even for? Why are you making it? I don't get it. Oh, you're such a lover. You just so much love in you. It's just, it's unbelievable. Look, you just been hugging and hugging and hugging. I'm loving you too, Pumat. I'm loving you too. You are one strange dude. So he ended up not being able to get the tractor started and we needed a way to get it up. And it was in the middle of a freaking field far away from anything. Uh, so he had a engine hoist, engine jack, whatever that thing is, you know, big legs and the big arm that swings up. Had one in the shop, so we hooked it up to his four-wheeler, dragged that thing out to where this was, hooked it up to the jack, and then I had to drive my, my, I had to drive a truck back there, and he was able to lower it down, and then I laid it down on the truck bed, strapped it down, and brought it home. And then once I got it here, I was able to use the tractor here, and I was able to actually get it in the door without crushing my ramp out there and uh, got it in here. I used a, uh, a car jack to wheel it in here and set it down. I, I don't know how to explain to you how heavy the damn thing is. Now inside it, supposedly there is a double wall uh, firebox in there. So there's a piece of quarter inch here and a piece of quarter inch there. So there's an air gap all the way around there. Um, the inside of it, that inside wall has been warped and there's a couple cracks in it, which I'm not too concerned about because there's nothing flammable inside of that. All it's gonna do is, is wear down this outside wall, but I guarantee you I'll get another 30, 40 years out of this thing. Uh, and then worst case, I can get some quarter inch plate and put it in there and weld it in and, and make it all pretty. One thing I don't like about it is that I can see the actual firebox through here. So if I'm having a raging fire, those flames are going to come up out of there and then they're going to go into my chimney pipe and I'm going to be using the cheapest, you know, chimney pipe that I can get. One of my friends was telling me I should get some stainless steel for at least these first two pieces so that, you know, the stainless steel will last longer, it won't burn through, but this is a metal box. There's really nothing flammable in here except for the wood that I'm building stuff with. Uh, I think it'll be fine. I'm always going to be out here when this thing's going and when I'm not out here, I'm going to close out the dampers and almost smother the fire out. So I don't think it's gonna be a major issue. Uh, again, if there's a problem, I can just come in there with some quarter inch steel, 
might put a plate up top there so the, the heat comes some up and has to go around that plate before it comes up and out. He did weld close a lot of the vents that were in it. I'm not sure why he did that. Um, there was a, a tube that ran along there and I, I think that was to let air run through, but that tube has since rusted out or got melted basically, rusted out. And so I think he welded that closed because that was letting smoke out. But there used to be a tube that ran through it to let air come through to, you know, make it, make some of that heat, some of that, well, that cold air would run through and hot air would come out the other side. I'm pretty sure there was a fan on the back of this thing that pushed air out through this, this hole right here. So in this video, I'm going to grind this thing down, sand it, prep it, paint it, make it look as new as possible. And then the next episode, I'll hook up the chimney pipe. I'm going to try to send this thing out the wall where a future window will go. So I'm not patching a hole later. Hopefully, fingers crossed. So let's get the grinder. Just do a little time lapse here because it's going to be loud and I won't really be able to talk. It's going to be dusty and oh boy. This is kind of where I want it to go, but I need to work back here. So I'm going to pull it away about, I can't even move it. There's one. That gives me enough room to work around the whole thing a little tight. Captain, you got to be careful because I'm lifting a lot of weight. I picked up these uh, concrete blocks. They were $1.50 each. Probably should have got the solid ones. I also noticed inside of it, there's no protection on the base of it or on the bottom. There was just, you know, ashes in there. Um, I was going to make a metal grate, but then I also felt like getting some fire bricks and lining the bottom and then maybe a little bit of the sides with the fire bricks would be a good idea. I went to Lowe's today to pick up the chimney pipe spray paint and those cinder blocks and I, I saw that they did have fire bricks. I didn't think, you know, they carried that kind of stuff, but they had them and I picked up one. Um, what I'm going to do is just measure this block, figure out how many I'll need exactly. They were kind of expensive. They were like $2.50 each, $2.50 each, but you know, when I need 40 of them, who knows? Yeah, it's not going to work like I want it to work. There's going to be gaps and stuff, but I think this would be a good idea to, to line it and then maybe do it like that. That is going to take up a lot of the firebox. Let me know. Let me know before I do that. Because I'll wait to do that. It'll be the last thing I do, but would it be beneficial to have fire bricks in there? Do they get hot, hold the heat, make it hotter? Longer. I think they would. They would it would be like a, a rocket stove. That mass gets hot. So I'm gonna start out with a wire brush and then I'm gonna go to like an orbital sander, just some high grit stuff. And then I'll jump back into it when I start painting it and we'll start talking again. Maybe. I can tell you one thing. That's gotta be not good to breathe. That was quick, wasn't it? Not really. It took about two hours, not even. I mean, probably working solid 45 minutes. Not bad. When you're doing this type of work, you don't need to like get this thing to shiny metal. Obviously, like the work that I'm going to be doing, the spray paint I'm going to put on, it's not going to last forever. It'll make it look good for 
a season maybe, uh, depending how hot this thing gets. But uh, I do want the paint that I put on to adhere as, as good as possible. Uh, I, I was doing research online. Probably the cheapest way to clean this after you've grinded it like that is with mineral spirit. There's other chemicals and stuff you can use, but then I also read that sometimes you can't paint over those chemicals. So I don't know. I, I'm not going to be priming this and, and it's going to be high heat. So I'm just trying to clean everything off that would affect the paint. So I'm just going to... Do we got a peanut gallery here? Yeah, we do. And we got a poncho gallery too. Poncho, go run in traffic, please. I'm telling you, I begged you. Every day I see you cross that road. I've never seen a dog so lucky. You know, I could blow it off with an air gun, but that's still not gonna clean it that well. I'm really just gonna clean the hell out of this with a gallon of mineral spirit. Watch out, guys, watch out. Oh, I should wear gloves. This stuff is nasty on the hands. I can already feel it. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit, and then I'll, I'll probably do it two or three more times to uh, get off as much as I can. I, obviously, I'll never get it, so it's like clean, 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 but I mean, I'm looking for decent. So I've, I've cleaned it twice. Let's see how we're looking. I mean, it's not, not too bad. That's respectable from what it was. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it one more time just to, I don't know, because I feel like it's a good idea. Uh, also, I realized that I didn't film any of the, the door. Uh, I, you know, grinded it down with the wire brush. This is a much softer, this, I think this is cast, it, it's steel, it must be cast iron, but it's, it's pretty light and a really soft. And then on the door, there's these things where these go on, which are like little air vents. I don't know what is up with this. I, I, it was definitely a modification. Somebody welded those on. And I think, you know, you would just lift it up off of it to uh, let more air in. Honestly, I don't want to make too many modifications to this until I've seen it run. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then I will see, uh, I'll, I'll see how it burns once it's all hooked up. Oh, you mean loving. You know, you know, I always watch the videos and I see you walking up and I'm like, why didn't you give Punnett some loving? You should have given Punnett some loving. Yeah, that is, that is exactly what I thought. I was like, you know what? I think I deserve some loving. Okay, Punnett. Can I have a kiss? Oh, thank you for the kisses. Oh, there it is. I give it to you now. Oh, yeah, I'm such a good girl. Watch me disappear. Poof. I'm a magician. Okay. Okay. All right. Watch out. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is now. I'm gonna clean it up and then we'll jump back in and we'll, we'll do some spray paint in a second. Let me just show you again, this horrible idea. The whole floor is just soaked in mineral spirit. I mean, it looks clean. Don't light a fucking match in here. Kerosene heater, you see it burning in the back right there? Oh, ho, 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 ho. danger, harmful, or fatal swallows. Combustible. Beep. Be all right. I am quite happy with how it has turned out. I could have grinded that a lot more though. Also, when I got this thing from the field, there was some steel pegs that went into here. One of them fell out, and then I was just in my uh, in the barn shop, and I found some some quarter inch bolts. I cut the thread off so that it would look a little neater and there wasn't like thread coming out. They're really just going to act as pegs. So I got these cut, ready to go, cleaned them up, took the burrs off of it, rounded the, uh, the cut off edge off of it. Everything's really ready to go. I'm just going to let this dry up. I'm going to start shaking some cans while this dries. I'm going to put the heater a little closer and then watch it burst into a million flames. And Oh God almighty Becky. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to tape off this uh, sp spiraling handle and uh, we'll, we'll paint it in two seconds. I know you are here and I promise I won't hurt you that bad. I mean, it'll be quick and uh, painless. Come on, let's, let's just, let's talk about it. You know, you come out and I will find you and oh man, it's going to be a fun time. Look at me. Yes, ready to pouncing. 
I will be nice, I will be friendly for a millisecond, I will lick you, and then I will shake you to, um, to a new place. I mean, uh, I'll be as, as gentle as possible. Pernay, you gotta be nice to the, the mouses. Well, I'll tell you, they're quick and they're, um, and, you know, elusive types of creatures. Some people like to be vaginas. You mean, uh, vegans? Yeah, the vaginas. All right, Peanut. Well, I'm gonna get them. And I'm gonna serve them that to the vaginas. <laughs> Let's see here and wait till I see one move, and then that's it. Lights up, motherfucker! Whoa, Peanut. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get out. I got out a lot of hands. I will try to behave myself next time. I, I mean, I don't even know where to start, but a lot has happened since the last clip. I mean, I was, uh, I got antsy, you know? I wanted to, to finish this project, and I wanted the temperature to be right. I wanted it to be dry, and so I grabbed the flamethrower, the, the propane blowtorch, and I was just, you know, I was hitting the side, you know, and then all of a sudden, the whole floor come fucking <laughs> burst into flames. It was absolutely catastrophe. You see all the water? Well, first I tried my drink, you know, I had a full drink, a full drink, and I threw it. That didn't do nothing. So I had, I had nothing to put a fire out. I'm telling you, this, this whole area was on fire. It was a little insane. I should have turned the camera on, like, fuck it, you know, like, whatever. But I'm sorry, I didn't film it. I was kind of worried that I was going to lose everything that I uh, love, all my good stuff that I have in here. Um, so I went and filled up a five gallon bucket of water like this much and then I left one on there to fill up while I ran back with this one and I'm telling you I had to run like very far and back with it and I poured it and it almost put most of it out and then I had to run back grab that one and do another switcheroo came back put the fire out it was good great and then I you know dumbass me decided to do it again but remember those rags that I threw in there maybe I'll leave that clip in there because that's important well I threw those rags in there and I was you know blow torching it again because everything was wet nothing's gonna catch on fire right well boom that motherfucker lit on fire there was flames coming out here there was flames coming out the back it was insane again and it filled up with smoke I couldn't breathe in here and well Life happens. So I'm ready to spray paint this thing. I'm, I mean, I'm done with this. Now that, that that whole thing happened, I was gonna wait till tomorrow when I sobered up a little bit, but whatever. I'm, I'm, all I gotta do is spray paint. Already, look at me. I already did the the door, plus, you know, I did the these things, and I did these things. And I did the back side that you can't see right now because I'm gonna tip it up. But, it, that, but that's gonna work out well, because I can tip this thing up and just spray paint the whole thing now. Uh, it's dry and ready to go. So what I'm using is a high heat, obviously, a high heat spray paint. This is a Krylon high heat, heat resistant up to 600 degrees. And I'll tell you that I'm 99% sure that this thing's gonna go over 600 degrees. They, Krylon does make a spray paint that goes up to like 1200 to 2000 degrees, but there's a curing process where you have to bring it up to 200 degrees, let it dry, and it's a big process. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this. If it doesn't work, I'll grind it all off and I might try the Krylon, but I think overall this will, will work for the most part. Some of the things that it requires is it to be at least 50 degrees, and then the humidity below 85%. It's raining and it's freezing, so uh, already off on the, the wrong foot, but it'll be okay. So it says hold it 10, 10 to 12 inches away, spray it on like spray paint. Multiple coats obviously is gonna be better, so I'm gonna do a light coat, basically dust it, and then uh, I'll do another dusting. Hopefully I'll get three coats out of it, and uh, we'll go from there. But it says shake it up for a minute. When I'm shaking it, I'm also twisting the bottle like this. So you can't really notice that I'm doing that. Yeah, you can a little bit if you pay attention. 
but I'm letting that marble that's inside it hit all across the bottom of it. Oh man, tendonitis. I hate bitching, but God almighty, swinging a hammer for 10 years and then being single for like six of those years, it's put a hurting on that elbow. You're implying stuff that I did not want to imply. <laughs> Could you make more of an inappropriate movement? I guess you could. So this spray paint can is pretty cool. It's got this, uh, it's got this uh, weird nozzle on it. See that little white tip? You can turn it and it will spray. It kind of puts out like a fan type spray. So you can turn this to spray like a vertical line or a horizontal line or a diagonal, whatever you want to do. You can position that white tip any way you want to and uh, get a, a different angle on it. So while I'm spray painting this, I'm gonna hit all those areas that are gonna have like a hard time getting into. So all these cracks I'm gonna hit before I do the, the flat surfaces. Now that I've hit those areas that are, you know, tough to get to, and this stuff dries really quickly. It, uh, it dries in like 15 minutes and then it cures in like an hour or something. Luckily I found a safe place. Barnett, stop being a liberal. So, I mean, you can't really tell. Like the, the light, the light's great in here, obviously. Wonderful light in here. But you know, this is just blacked out. You can't see anything. But it, it is looking great. I've done, uh, you know, a light coat and a half on the whole thing. Light dusting over the whole thing. I got one more can of spray paint. I'm going to heavy coat the areas of hard to reach and then again light coat the areas that are not hard to reach, if that makes any sense. Uh, I did the bottom, I did the bottom twice. I did the legs twice. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm, into, I'm drunk, but overall it looks, uh, it looks good. I got one more can, so I'm just gonna blow it out. I don't think the camera does it justice, but it looks sharp. I guess, I guess it does look good from what it started at. It's all finished. I got the door installed. Got the tape off the handle. Looks good. Uh, I might touch up a few areas once it's set in place, but overall it looks good. One thing I will note is that this paint's probably not gonna last. It's gonna get burnt off probably instantly on the first fire. So, I mean, it looks good to start with, but it probably won't hold up. But, oh, hi, Peanut. I know I gotta give you loving when you're in the video, because I get all, like, I get upset later. I'm like, why don't I give Peanut loving? Okay, you got loving? You good? You good? No, I'm good. Yeah, no, I like that stretch. It's right there. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel and you like this kind of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you liked the video, felt it was, you know, entertaining, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you have some, some knowledge you want to throw down, let me know. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the bricks on the bottom. That's it. But I'd still like to know your opinions on that one. As always, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.